So you're about to start finding a new model for your agency and you're wondering to yourself, what's the best revenue split to propose to the model when I'm reaching out to her? In this video, I'm gonna go over some options that you have and which one is probably your best bet to go with. All right, so to put things in perspective, first we must go over what you're actually offering and then this will give you perspective as to why you are justifying the revenue split that you're proposing and these are also the reasons that you can give to the model if she pushes back. So first thing, you're offering to promote and grow her account. Now I know I'm speaking the obvious here, but I really am giving you perspective. So when the model pushes back, because she probably will, you can remember these things and you can tell them to her. So promote and grow account. Next thing, you're offering to run the account. I know I'm speaking obvious here, but just hear me out. You're offering to run the account, which is essentially chatting, selling, and posting. You're also offering to schedule content, but this would come under posting content, so scheduling content. Now what all this equals is you are essentially offering to automate the entire OF account. So when you're pitching the model and telling her the revenue split that you propose and she pushes back, just remember this, you are offering to automate the entire OF account, which means she does nothing and money comes in. All right, so now that you've got that in your head, we'll go over some revenue splits. All right, so the most common revenue split options that I see people proposing are 70-30. So that's you take 70, model takes 30. The other one is 50-50. And the other one I've seen people do is 30-70, but the other way. I can tell you that if you're offering to automate the entire OF account, and you're only asking for 30% in return, then you, my friend, are ripping yourself off. I don't care how desperate you get, always ask for more than 30%, because remember, you are automating the entire OnlyFans account, and if you're only asking for 30% return, please just have some respect for yourself, all right? Now, what's even crazier is another option I've also seen people do, is they'll offer the revenue split and then, you know, we're gonna do all this, we're gonna automate the entire account and we'll do the first month for free. First month for free, automating the entire OnlyFans account. I don't care how desperate you are, if you do anything like this, you're asking for trouble. What's gonna happen is you're going to run, you're gonna automate the entire OnlyFans account the model is gonna see everything you're doing. She's gonna see the chatting technique. She's gonna see the different types of PPV captions. She's gonna see the type of things you're scheduling. She's gonna see all the techniques that you're doing. She's gonna get that first month out of you, learn all of this stuff herself, and then say, sorry, it's not working out. You're not doing a good job. And she has just acquired all of that knowledge, all of your secret sauce, because you were a Momo and gave it all away for free. So, what the fuck? No. So that leaves us with these two here. I've seen slight deviations. I've seen like 60, 40, 65, 35. I had to work that out for a sec. Same thing, all right? That'll all come into 70, 30. And then there's the 50, 50. So the 70, 30, here's your problem with that. If you're offering to an automate the entire OnlyFans account in return for 70%, I know that sounds like a fair deal because you're automating the entire OnlyFans account and you're giving the model 30% of the money for her doing nothing. That sounds fair, right? It does, it does. To me, it does. But that is gonna come with a lot of pushback and you have to have some social proof to back that up. So if you're just starting out and you can't make that girl 10K in her first month, then you're not in a position to ask for a 70-30 split because the model has leverage. Model has leverage. Her leverage is that you're just starting out and she has the account that you want to manage. So 70-30, probably not going to happen because you can't back it up with proof. You can't back it up with results. So that leaves us on 50-50. This is the revenue split that I propose. Now, when you work your way up and you can make her 10K in the first month, 
then you are in a position to ask for 70-30. But if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're not there yet. So that leaves us on 50-50. Now here's the proposal that you say to the model and this will allow you to get around any objections that she has. You say, we automate, remember what we said earlier, automate entire account and in return, we split it down the middle 50-50. You don't get paid, we don't get paid. That way, if we don't do any work, we don't get paid because if we were to structure this any other way, we could just sit on our hands, do nothing, and we'll still get paid. But if we split it down the middle and go 50-50, we're partners, which means if you don't make money, we don't make money. I have found this the easiest to pitch when you are outreaching for the reasons I just said. And if you get any objections, and a lot of models will probably object, you just say the reasons I said. This is so that we're incentivized to grow your account because if you don't make money, then we don't make money. And that's all I have for you today. Now, if you wanna skip the part of having to watch all YouTube videos and learning pieces here, learning how to do dating apps and TikTok and learning all this shit, wasting all of your time, then I've created a course just for you that takes a shortcut. It'll save you having to watch hours of YouTube videos. It takes everything that I know, it puts it in a course, and you can purchase it and grow your agency to seven figures in record time, just like many others have done. Now, as usual, if you like the video, go smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.